Well, no matter how much spring cleaning we do, all of us seem to have items sitting around the house that make us wonder, is this worth anything? Where did it come from? Well, we asked to you to post your items to see what you'd like to see appraised. And you did. Here's what antiques appraiser Dr. Lori had to say about the items sent from three of our viewers. We put a call out to have people send us their weird, unique, cool, fascinating items and have you appraise them. You've picked three of your favorites. So let's jump right in. Number one is a clock, a mantle clock from Heidi in Kenmore. She says that clock has been on the mantle since 1962. Mantle clocks like this with the wood case, very, very typical and common. Most of them are made on the other side of the country where I grew up, which is Connecticut, along the Connecticut shoreline. The works were made in one place and then the works would be moved across the country and then cases would be added as they moved across the country. The actual cases, right, the wooden part, would actually be made in New York, made in Connecticut, sent to New York, New York picks up a case, Chicago picks up a case, you get to LA, picks up a case, as you move west. But this particular one is very, very typical. Lots of people have it. We had one in my mother's house we used to call it time bomb because it sounded like a time bomb. Tick, tick, <laughs> tick, tick, tick. It has some value and some interest, but it's widespread. Many people have them. So because they're so common, they come mm -hmm. to the market, value's not too high. It's worth about $200. All right, well, that's not too shabby, but maybe more of a personal value is better. Right. Um, Colleen sent in these figurine sets, and she says these ones in particular have been in her family for generations. I believe that. These are Staffordshire, and they have a, Staffordshire figurines have a particular look. You know, so when you see them, they're usually sort of two figures together on kind of this base, and it's all one form. They're made in Staffordshire, England, and Staffordshire, England is one of the premier places for the very high quality clay in the world. Places like Limoges, France, and Staffordshire, England, and Galway, Ireland, and Trenton, New Jersey. Good clay in these places to make good ceramic. And they have that kind of, they detailed look, a little bit of orange, a little bit of black, usually two figures together. Value on each one, about $100. And as I said, they date to the late 19th century. And just like you wouldn't wind a clock a lot, you want to make sure that you don't put any commercial cleaner or any kind of spray on these because over time it could deteriorate the glaze. I had no idea it related to the clay. And now I know Trenton, New Jersey has good ceramics. So but right, New Jersey is good. There you go. Uh, last right. we got some we got some sports memorabilia for you because you know everything, Dr. Lori, even sports. What about this soccer ball from our viewer John? It is a signed soccer ball signed by the great Brandy Chastain. This is an amazing piece, and the reason why I know all this stuff is because last year, for example, I appraised 50,000 objects every year. It was, it was something like that for years and years and years, in addition to my PhD and my years as an appraiser. So yeah, I mean, when you see so much, you have to be able to know it to, of course, do the appraising. And I, the correct identification is really what's important when it comes to appraisals. Not about the values, it's about making sure that you are correctly identifying it. This is a 1999 FIFA World Cup Championship autographed soccer ball. Now, let me say this before I get into values. Most, about more than 90% of sports memorabilia is faked. It's a very high percentage. So wow. the fact yeah, so the fact that this piece has a provenance or a background that relates it to our viewer, right, who got it and was able to actually see this autograph take place is extremely important and it's going to help impact value because a lot of people can easily just forge a signature. People think it's hard to do. It's easy to do. So this piece was, of course, part of the championship game and it's autographed. The autograph has been authenticated. Value on the piece, $350. Oh my gosh. Winner, winner, chicken dinner of our yeah, show. Yeah. We're grateful always for sharing your expertise with us. But well, I love you, Day. You know that. I know. And I love you. And um, do you have any great tips for us that maybe if we're looking around and, you know, an antique store or something? 
Quality should speak to you. You know what junk looks like and you know what quality looks like. I always say, look in categories that you're familiar with. You know, I'll say something like, well, you know, if you're a nurse, for example, you might know more about medical memorabilia than I would, right? <laughs> Items and categories like fine art, furniture, precious metals, including jewelry. Exactly. Don't forget glass and crystal, very popular. So are ceramics. And make sure that you're collecting in a category. You don't want to collect too many different diverse things and have clubs you want to identify and develop a collection, but we'll help you identify the pieces correctly and show you what they're really worth. And we'll do it right here on New Day Northwest. And get this, Dr. Lori will be appraising more of your items in the next few weeks. So if you have anything you want her to check out, go to our Facebook page and you'll see the Dr. Lori post and that's where you can post your items.